Hey y'all. Um, Dolce, stay here. I I'm back over here, Tux. Tux, get back over here. Sorry y'all, I accidentally, I accidentally cut that previous uh, video short. Tux, back over here. See, Tux, Tux, back over here, come. Oh, Tux tries to um, slip off, slip off while I'm distracted. Oh, he's bad. Come on, good girl. Now these uh, Corso are doing great with their recall. They're doing wonderful. Good girl. Oh man, this is another one that's doing absolutely wonderful. I don't know if y'all can see that. Man, this uh, Plumeria, oh my God, smells so good. Uh, I can't explain, if you've never smelled it, I know anyone that's lived in Hawaii has smelled a Plumeria, but uh, this is one of my favorite varieties too, the yellow, it's just gorgeous. Um, it smells like, it smells like uh, summertime. It almost smells a little bit like a, a really good smell in suntan lotion. <laughs> Back over here, don't you? Good girl. Oh, she's trying to bring me that stick. It's funny, these dogs, they go for the biggest sticks. She'll, she'll sometimes bring me a tree branch. But this is the biggest one she could find out here. Give me this too. Oh, give me this stick. Give me this one. Dolce. Come on over here. Come on, let's go back over here. Get here. Give me this one. Um, give me this one. Yeah, see, some of those lavender are doing wonderful, but oh, this one, not so much. If anybody... If anybody knows anything about lavender, this is Provencal or uh, French lavender. Provencal, I don't know how, however you pronounce that, but this this one is a little brittle, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna overwater it, so I don't water them often. But I don't know if maybe they're they're underwatered. But anyone have any tips on lavender? Feel free to comment. That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. Give me that. Give me that stick. I want to get it. I want to get it. Oh, God. This looks like a stick that's been through the fire. It's got the black uh, on it here. Don't chase it. Good girl. Go get it. Oh, she is ready to go. She's ready to play. Ah, I see. Hi, Papa. Good girl. Good girl. How proud she is. How proud she is. That's a good girl. Dolce, sit. Sit. Good girl. Very good. Very good. Give me that. Sit. Sit. Good girl. You ready? You ready? Go get it. Oh, God. I got to work on my throw. That was weak. Oh, I loving her, loving her coat. Come on, Papa. She's got a shiny coat. Come on, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Come on. Come on, Oz. Come on, Dolce. Good boy. Oh, man, y'all. Gladiolas are doing... Eh, they were doing good, but I think... Uh, it may be too much heat for them. I water them daily, but they're looking a little thirsty. Yes, Come on, Papa. Good boy. And uh, these sunflowers right here, I love this variety because uh, they have multiple blooms. And they, they tend to be hardier than the other ones, at least in this harsh, dry climate. Oh, they're gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I don't know if you can see how tall this one is. It hasn't bloomed yet, but 
I'm about five six, so let's see how tall that one is. And uh, now these other two sunflowers right here, uh, and they're starting to they're starting to droop a little bit. But see, they've been blooming for over a week now, so honestly, I don't know how long the blooms last, but they uh, this one I had to prop the head up with some string, but yeah, it's not looking too good. Hey, little baby girl. Ozzy. Ah, it's good to see. So anyway, yeah, we're uh, uh, going out to explore um, like we usually do. The dogs have uh, probably been sleeping all day. Like usual, and this is the time they wake up right before I get home, and then we uh, we go, you know, walk around the yard and explore. Hi, Papa. See what we can find. But I tell you, I just love this terrain out here. I don't know if y'all can y'all see this bedrock. It is. I mean, it's got all kinds of um, textures, ripples, and different holes. It's just so cool looking to me. What's up, Papa? Yeah, we're doing a perimeter. Perimeter search, or uh, not search, a... Uh, what am I trying to say? Perimeter check is what they're doing. And they hear something out here. What is it, Oz? Hmm. Heard something out there. So, this fence uh, actually is in our front yard. You know, I, I bought this house. I bought this house as a as a new build about six months ago and it wasn't fenced in when I first got it so it was a huge project because I wanted to maximize the space for the dogs I mean that's the reason that I got this place you know I wanted to have more room for the dogs to run around so so a, a big portion of it was actually, a big portion of the land was actually uh, in front of the house. And so, so I had to fence that portion in. So we're actually standing in front of the house right now. Ah, I see. But anyway, uh, yeah, try not to make this video too long. Just wanted to, uh, just wanted to check in with everybody and say hi. And uh, see if there was anything new going on. Oh yeah, I do have some new news to report. I did finally buy a gimbal and a microphone, so hopefully the uh, the quality of the videos will be a little better with more consistent and you know better sound. I know that's probably frustrating. Oh, I do have to show you all this. <gasps> so. This is the Texas persimmon. Persimmon, persimmon, not sure how you pronounce it, but they are really prolific out here in the Texas Hill Country. And, and there goes Ozzy. Come on, Oz. And uh, I'm excited. I, I, have, I must have at least 100 of these on the property. I don't know if you could see the fruit. Um... I don't know what I got on my neck. Anyway, the fruit, it's not ripe yet, but it's very edible and very sweet. It's going to turn a dark purple and uh, almost black, dark purple. And from what I from what I hear is uh, some people make jelly out of it. It tastes like a cross between a prune and a plum, uh, but but very sweet. So excited. So I'll update y'all 
uh, when they're ripe. I think I see one that might be coming ripe here. Oh yeah, check this one out. Yeah, y'all. Exciting. Can you see that? I don't know if y'all can see these two. Oh. These two darker ones starting to mature. I'm gonna pick this one actually, just to see. Yeah, see? So, doge. Hmm, I'm tempted to eat it. Oh, <gasps> actually y'all, that's very sweet. It's actually very sweet already. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And um, see how Dolce sticks by me. Like I was saying in a, in a previous video, she uh, she's my female kind of course. So she's the one that just sticks by my side. And whenever there's a noise, she'll go and check on it. But she'll immediately come back to check on me. It's just so interesting that she does it. But anyway, um, hi baby. Uh, it is hot out here. I'm gonna get these dogs inside. And uh, so yeah, go. Y'all have a good day. And we will talk at you guys later. Say bye, Yazzie. Say bye, Papa. Say bye, y'all.